Hi guys, welcome to a live video today. And the topic today we're gonna talk about is about board transition. So maybe some of you already have seen me on the video before. So my name is Wilde and I'm the head instructor at Lake and I've been working for 13 years. So, and today we have Santo, I wanted to introduce you today. So Santo, tell them. So like he said, I'm Santo. Uh, I've been teaching for around 14 or 15 years and working at Lake for around, around 11. So first we want to say thank you guys for joining us today and a big, very big thanks to Heidi Fitness for giving us that amazing be uh, idea of making this video. Thank you, thank you Heidi. Alright, cool, nice. So now you know Santa is one of the, the instructors we have here for a long time, a lot of experience. So today we're going to talk about board transition, 20 board, right, regular board. Cool. So Santo, first of all, people need to know so what level people should be when, before they do transition? Like the writer's level, what they need to be doing first before they start doing transition? What do you think about? Uh, firstly, they gotta have a very good kite control. As you can see, or as everybody knows, the kite control is the most important thing. Uh, also, they, they gotta know the rider rules, or the rule riders. So, uh, it's gonna be like, uh, when you're driving a car, you can't turn without looking. Because if you turn your kite, uh, your car, car without looking, what's gonna happen? You have a big person having an accident. So, the, se the same thing is gonna be when you are kiting. So, before doing the transition, you have to look to the other side, make sure that you have nobody around or close to you, and like that, you can do, you can do your, your, your transition. Okay, cool. So what Santos saying is when you do transition, when you're riding on the water, you have to be careful with, with, with other riders. So, so if you're riding and you're going to do transition from one side to the other, so you have to make sure like nobody's behind and nobody's in front. Like you have to see like everywhere is like, it's like nobody around. Like you have space enough to turn when you're turning and you don't hit somebody. That's good. All right, cool. So you need to know and understand all the rules of the water when you're riding before you do transition. Cool. So Santo, now maybe some people they should know what is board transition, or uh, maybe some people dance, I mean. So what board transition is? What do you can tell people about what is board transition? Uh, well, they're very simple. So, board transition is like turning from one side to the other without stopping. All right, so cool. So Santa said like board transition is when you just ride it from one side to the other, and you just like can turn without stopping. Or maybe you can sit down literally to the water, and you still go from one side to the other. That's good. Cool, so now people know what is board transition, so now we can start explaining people how to do board transition and uh, how is the easy way when you're beginning to start doing something like board transition. So Sandra, what board transition? So how we can do board transition? How you, you can explain people to do board transition in the water, the easy way to do it? Okay, so firstly, so you gotta come upwind. Make sure that's gonna make you know that you have some power and then when you're coming up when sorry let me stand up to show you so when you're coming up when with your kite at 10 o'clock start moving the kite moving your body because if you move the kite and you don't move your body then you, you will fall so it, ha it has to be a combination and start bringing the kite to 11 and start switching your body passing the kite not too fast but not too slow from 12 o'clock to 2 o'clock your waist on the back, turning your body, and then move the kite to one o'clock. But don't forget to move, to point the board a little bit a, a little bit downwind. Because if you ride away, point your board upwind, and then you will stop because you're gonna make resistance to the water. That's one of the easier ways that I that I can tell you. All right, cool. So, so the same like board transition is when you turn it from one side to the other, and you move the kite from one side to the other. But you have to be connected with the kite. So remember, it's important that like when you do transition, you are connected with the kite. You need to understand the movement of the kite. It's really important. And when you're riding upwind, when you're turning, you have to be just turning the ball with the kite too, right? So when you're turning upwind, and you're turning a little bit downwind to the kite, so you just go with the kite. So you let the kite take you all the way downwind before you turn back upwind again. So it's cool. So for transition, it's really easy. But also you need to know the speed. And when you have an overpower, when you're underpower, you need to understand a little bit about that. That's good. Santa, what can any other advice we can tell? So big mistake. So we can do when you when you do the transition. So what mistake we can we can make? 
Can you tell people? Uh, one of the biggest mistakes that I've been able to see during I've been teaching transition is combination, combinating her body, her weight, like moving, combinating his body position during that I'm moving the kite. I show you can. Let me stand up. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, for example, you're doing more transition from the left side to the right side. Sometimes, what the student or what the person do is they move the kite to the other side, but they still keep her way on the on the right leg. Got it? So that's gonna make you go to the other side because you you have to know that the kite's gonna pull you to the other side. So watch, that's one of the biggest mistakes. Combinating his, his body, moving his body at the right time that you move the kite. You see, you have to know that as soon as you move your, 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 the kite to the right side, you have to move your way to the back. All right, cool. So that's good. I mean, when you're riding and they're going to do a turn, the transition, big mistake, it maybe it's like when you get too much pressure on your board and then your board goes too deeper and then you stop. So first of all, you have to be light on the board too, right? So pretend you're light on the board. So when you just turn the board upwind and then you bring a guy slow 11 and then you turn him back to the a real fast. So you have to be light on the board and you have to be facing the guy. So you have to just connect to the guy. So the guy just like never loses speed if you do like that. That's really good. So Santos, well, that's good. Well, transition is not a problem. So the biggest mistake is when you maybe push too much power on the board and then you bring the board down. So that's really good. So why another mistake you think like should be like maybe the board is too small or the kite so it's too big whatever so what, what about that what about those board and the, and the kite so what help you so the board if you have a for example at the beginning for starting to do the transition if you have a big board it's gonna be even better because you know the bigger is the board the the more you're gonna flop flop in the water you're gonna flop more yeah if you have a small board can be that when you move the car, you put too much pressure on the front and then you sink the board in the water. So I recommend it to do it with, uh, with one board a little bigger than the normal that you use until you get used. All right, so what I'm saying is like when you're riding and you're doing transition, it's way better if you get like a bigger board. So you have more, you can float more on the water and you get more, more flotation. So when you turn, so even like you do a little power on the board, so when you start, maybe it's not gonna be perfect. So maybe you're gonna be just dropping down because you're pushing too much pressure on the board and then the ball go deeper and then you stop the board and stop the speed and then maybe your transition is not, it's not gonna be really good. So it's good to pick a board so you can flow more so when you're turning so it's easy for you to control your speed and to keep the power on the guy. That's really good. Good point, Santos. All right, so guys, any comments? Uh, share this video with your friends. If you see interesting, just like the, the, the video. So I'll link to you to our YouTube or Instagram in the comments. That's really good guy. All right, cool. So Santo, what about so wind condition when you do transition? So and the light winds. So it's the same thing when you do transition the light winds or when you do transition in the good wind. So what we can what we can just what a good advice for people to do transition the light winds. What you can you can tell them. So uh, you guys have to know that you always have to take the right kite. For example, if you have a light wind, don't take on a small kite. Because even if you move it, when you're doing the transition, it's not going to pull you. So, take a guy that can keep you up. Uh, for example, depending how much you knot you have. Uh, uh, 12 here on the wind is light is good. And try to keep power. Uh, something that it can help you when you are turning. That you don't, If you don't move, you still can be pulled. Because as soon as, soon as you know, when the wind is light, and you have a big kite, it's gonna be a little bit, the reaction is not gonna be the same. So take a kite that can keep you up. All right, cool, so that's good. So if you go with a small kite in the light winds, I don't think you're gonna do the match when you do transition, right? Because the kite doesn't have power enough to keep you up on the board. So if the wind is light, make sure how much you weight and what the right kite size to take before you do transition, because that's really good and that will help you a lot for the future and transition. So bigger kite, can hold you more on the board, so when you turn it from the left to the right, the guys you have the power when you pull a little bit, and then you're gonna be riding all the way. So you don't have to work too much in your body. Even you push a little bit power on the board, you have a big kite, so get more power, it's gonna take you up when you just do a little move to the kite. That's really good, really important. So in the good win, Santo, it's, it's easy, right? So any people, like, they start doing transition, so when they do win, they can just do it, right? 
Yeah, no everything is easier when the wind is good, Will. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. So no matter, so you get a small kite and the light in the, in the wind and you can just do it. Depends, I mean, on the, on the light wind, maybe you're gonna move the kite a little bit faster. Because if you just go very gentle in the light winds, maybe the kite's gonna lose the power and you're not gonna have enough. In the good wind, maybe you go more gentle with the kite and you still have the power, right? Exactly. So that's really good, really important. All right, cool. So what, what else we have to talk about? So we have wind is light, when the wind is good, so flat water transition. What about, uh, yeah, what about that? Flat water transition and um, water. What's the difference between flat water and choppy water? So what easy way to do it? So, uh, in flat water it's a lot of easier. Why? Because you don't have anything that it can it stop you, right? It stop you that you, you, you won't be able to hit the wave when you when you turn. So that's the difference is that in flat water when you turn you don't have anything that it can make you fall. So in the choppy water, when when you turn you can hit the wave with the board. Alright, so flat water we all know that, right? It's more easier. Some people they're different places, you know, and we have to they need to know about board transition, different wing uh, uh, different ways and different weather conditions and different water. So people in the flat water they have the opportunity to learn it quick because on the flat water, like Santos say, it's like you never have something to stop you, right? When you just go riding upwind, you just move the board upwind and you're turning, the board is equal everywhere. So you have to work with your kite. If you know if you, if you know if you understand the kite movement, right? When you just move from one side to the other, you can just play with the kite around downwind and you can go easier. So in the choppy water, it's a little bit hard. Not like difficult, but a little bit a little more difficult than flat water. Because the choppy water, so the choppy and the waves can stop your board and the board go deeper to the waves and they can stop you. And then it's gonna, it's gonna be a little more complicated. But if you got power enough on the kite, you go really fast. So you can be on top of the waves and then you can do the turn a little faster on the waves. But that's not a problem. So it only like about power on the kite, about about speed and, and that's it. That's pretty simple. All right, guys. So remember, so transition is on your mind, right? So remember, you have to be connected with the kite. Everything is the kite. You need to understand the kite movement, right? You need to understand the kite feeling. So the kite need to need to hold you when you're just doing the turn. At the same time, you have to move from one side to the other with the kite. Always just follow the kite, face the kite. So if you bring the kite from one side to the other, and you don't turn with the kite, you're gonna fail for sure. You're gonna stop it, and it's not gonna work. So remember, you have to be with the guy at the same time, always. That's good, guy. I think that's good for today, guys. So any question, we're here to help you. So Santo, he will be here all the time. Any question, he has a lot of speed, so he will help you with any question. We're gonna find a way, guys. So that's really good. Thank you for joining us. We love you, guys. So we'll see you next time with the next topic, so people can talk on the on the on the on the page, and then they can let us the comments everything so we're gonna talk about next time so let us know and then we will see for the next week what we're gonna be uh, talking about next time all right guys thanks for joining to us so have a great day take care bye, bye. <laughs>